Hey everybody, how are you? It's Audrey. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. I am going to be sharing a page using the August Hip Kit Club Kit. So I am using this piece of paper from the kit as my background and I am first going to cover it with a little bit of gesso. Um, actually, I've already covered it with gesso and now I'm going over it with a little bit of white paint. So the gesso provides a good uh, background to do some mixed media, uh, but I wanted the um, area just to be a little bit lighter so the white paint helps lighten it up even more. I have used one of the cut files um, from the August uh, cut file selection and actually I designed this cut file and it's, I think it's called Swirly Flowers um, and I am going to use it as a stencil as you can see. Uh, but it's actually pretty, really pretty on its own. And as I was making, um, spraying through the stencil, I, I, I kind of like how it looked on the uh, yellow cardstock. So I think I might actually use this as a background at some point. So I'm using a combination of some shimmers and uh, some mists and some creamies and some inklings. These are all from past uh, uh, previous Hip Kit Club kits. And I am trying to go for, uh, I'm doing a fall-like page, so I want something um, with some fall colors. So a little bit of gold and kind of a coral and an orange. And the mists and, and the, um, the uh, creamy bled through a little bit, but actually I, I, that doesn't bother me much at all. I kind of looked like the way that it looked with the... Um, kind of the, the messy bleeding through, but you can still make out the shapes of the swirly flowers. And then I'm just going back through uh, for a little accent color. I splattered with some uh, blue mist, which I think was Snow Way Man, and that was from a previous kit as well. So here's my photo, and to kind of go with this uh, natural fall theme, I wanted to punch some maple leaves, and I decided to actually use some of the packaging, as you saw. So that those wood grain leaves came from some of the Maggie Holmes packaging uh, from some of the embellishments and I just love what the wood grain does for this page. And to bring in again that accent color of blue, I just went through and punched um, with some uh, with a punch in the blue pattern paper and then a little pop of this um, yellow. And so now I'm going to start uh, embellishing with some die cuts and other little bits. I'm going to arrange these leaves a little bit. Um, so this, this picture is of my son and we were on a walk and the wind started blowing and, um, we were in the Adirondacks and, um, the leaves started falling off the trees and they were actually like hitting him in the head and he started jumping up and catching them and, um, we were trying to catch him in the air and it's actually pretty fun. And we decided that that's why they actually call it fall because the leaves fall from the sky. And so that's what this page is about. So of course the leaves are perfect accent. So I did put some of the leaves um, upside down and kind of blowing around. So I'm making a cluster on the bottom right of my photo. Uh, I used a green tag, which I love. Again, that little accent that that green brings in. And I have this big yellow tag that says hello on it and it's really pretty, but I feel like it's a little bit too much yellow because I am really in love with the mixed media background right now and the little bits of uh, punched leaves. So I am uh, not sure about that big yellow tag yet. And another piece of chipboard also from that Maggie Holmes Little Lane collection. And I had added in a dark blue accent too, but I think I end up taking that out as well. So there comes the yellow tag off and it just, it's, yeah, that yellow tag, when you take it off, you just realize, I realized how, how bold it was on the page and how much of your attention it was taking up. Uh, another little accent color, this kind of lavender color is so, so pretty. So I just threw a couple little lavender hearts on there. I'm not sure. Oh, I, w I know. I was fiddling around with this. So this is another piece of chipboard too, and it was like a gold leaf from the chipboard sheet, but it broke as I was tearing it off because it's such a thin little leaf. So I thought, okay, I'll use this to my advantage. And as it, it ripped in three tiny pieces, so I just used all three pieces on different areas of the page. I'm trying to decide if I want to add any more accents in. I was thinking about adding a few like black words and a black little frame, but I just the, the pastels in this were just really... Um, 
soft and I didn't want to have something too dark on there uh, to take away from that softness. And I'm using a little rub-on in the bottom of the photo. I love using those white rub-ons on some dark space, some dark negative space. I try one up here, but you can't even see it. It's like white on white. Um, I don't even bother trying to take erase it off because you, you can't even see it at all. So the title of my page is going to be, this is why they call it fall. Um, so I'm going to use some green letters here. And I wasn't sure how I was going to do, I, I wanted the word fall in green because it kind of, uh, went with the green tag and picked up on that. I wasn't sure how I was going to do the rest of the letters yet. And I'm looking just for a couple more little bits. And I know I want to do some stitching too. So I am going to, after I add a few more thing, little things here, go to my machine and stitch over each leaf. So just I just stitched with a uh, neutral color thread. And on the bigger leaves, I did kind of like three veins on the leaves. And the little ones, I just did a straight line because they were very tiny and very hard to maneuver underneath my, my sewing machine. So uh, I love the texture that the stitching adds. And then I, I kind of fold each leaf a little bit where the stitching line is just to give it a little uh, dimension so that it folds up and uh, kind of has some nice dimension and texture. And I'll pop those up as well. So I'm just using some foam squares for each leaf. So I, I was debating on whether or not I wanted to add more to this, and sometimes less is more. Um, and I, like I said, I just really loved how the background looked and the simplicity of the leaves, uh, and I thought it was really pretty. And if I added too much more, that it was going to take away from that design. And um, plus, not not over embellishing allows my photo to stick out as well. So not only do you see the the you know artsy stuff in the back, but you can actually you know, your eye is drawn to the photo too. So the rest really is just me kind of layering and adding the pieces back on where I had them. Oh, I did add a few um, stickers, gold uh, stickers. There's some leaves underneath the bottom, some gold leaves underneath the bottom right. Uh, blue leaf, and uh, those are came from a sticker sheet from a Maggie Holmes collection. And I'm going to pop this chipboard piece up even more. And some twine on my tag. And that just about does it. I'm going to move this title over, about the word fall, over a tiny bit more. And I decided just to go ahead and use some more of these stickers. And I'm going to fill in the rest of my title. This is why they call it fall. And I, when I make my titles like this, and depending on which side I'm justifying the text, I, some, I often go backwards and, and write my words backwards. So um, just because, you know, if I want it lined up correctly, I don't want to start on one end and, you know, hope that I match up on the end that's closest to my photo or whatever. So I always start um, and, and do it kind of backwards. Oh, and one thing on my on my stickers, and of course this would happen to me. I get all the way, and I'm almost finished, and I realize I don't have any more H's for the word this. So I need to uh, get creative here. So I took a letter N, and I cut off the middle diagonal piece of the N, so I just could have the two um, sides. And then I take a little snippet from the middle of a Q and make an H, and you can't even tell that it's not a real H. And that does it. So there's my finished page. I added some journaling and the date. And this is why they call it fall. And I love the pastels in here. And it just came out uh, really pretty. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video today. You can uh, get this cut file in the Hip Kit Club store. And thanks so much for watching. And stay scrappy, friends. I'll see you soon.